Today we're going to tie the Slump Buster, which is a small streamer pattern from John Barr, a fly designer who's probably best known for designing the Copper John fly, which has been popular for many, many years. But he's also designed several great streamer patterns. Uh, the Meat Whistle is also very popular, and then this small pattern that we're going to tie today, uh, the Slump Buster. And the Slump Buster is tied with uh, Pine Squirrel Zonker Strips, and uh, this is a Slump Buster in Olive. We're also going to tie today one in crawfish orange. And the slump buster is tied on a 4X long streamer hook. Today we're going to use a size 8. This fly can be tied down to probably a, a size 6 or up to even a size 12, depending on the size you like. We're going to tie a size 8 with a 4X long streamer hook. So we secure our, our hook in the tying vise. And for weight, we're going to use a medium size gold brass cone head. And also add a bit of O2O lead wire. And I'm going to add about a dozen wraps here. Break those off and then snug that in up into the bead to help hold the bead in place. And the thread I'm using today is Burnt Orange UTC 140 denier. And we start by getting a few thread wraps behind the lead wire and then over the lead wire. Trim off that tag in and then move our thread to just behind the lid. Now in order to secure the zonker strip, we're going to use gold wire. And for this fly, I'm using UTC's uh, ultra wire in brassy size. And you can use any color you like. Red looks very nice on this fly as well to, come to accent the, the um, gold braid we're going to use. So we tie in this wire on the near side of the hook, which will facilitate wrapping later on. Wrap it in back to the bend of the hook, which on this hook is just above the hook barb, and then move our thread back up to just behind the lid. For a little bit of flash on the body, we're going to use gold sparkle braid. And this is uh, Hairline's diamond braid, but any of the, the flat sparkle braids will work fine for this. We tie it in behind the lid. As you can see, the combination of tying the wire in behind the lid and the sparkle braid behind the lid levels out the body and gives us a nice body tapering up to our lid at the cone head. Then bring our thread back up to the cone head. And we want to wrap the sparkle braid with overlapping wraps all the way up. just behind the cone head. Gives us a bit of flash at the bottom of our streamer. A couple of wraps to secure the braid. Trim off the excess. And now it's time for our pine squirrel zonker strips. Now, pine squirrel zonker strips come in two different sizes. Uh, the micro size on the left, which is good for size hooks, say 10 and 12, and the standard size that we're going to use today, which is on the right uh, in crawdad orange. And these come in packages of six or seven of these nice long strips. And to create a tie-in point, we want to strip off the last eighth of an inch or so of the fur. And a little bit more there. And then we push that up into the back of the cone and make sure it's very secure. We definitely don't want it pulling out. Use AK Best technique here. AK is a production fly tire from Colorado who says, use enough tension to almost break your thread. So. We've tied our zonker strip in at the front and we want to stretch it out to the rear and we moisten our fingers a little bit 
in order to preen up the, fe the uh, fur fibers. And we work the wire down into those fibers right at the very back to tie that zonker strip in at the back and snug it down. Now we want to, there are a couple of ways to do this. Some people like to needle the wire through at the very bottom and, and wrap it that way. I'm going to just wrap from the top, moving it back and forth and just pulling the fibers up as I go and try to make roughly even spiral wraps of this wire. It's not important that it's exactly the same while avoiding tying down too many of those fibers. And three or four wraps of this wire is plenty. And we get to the very front, a couple of wraps, tie it off. Now we can certainly helicopter this wire off, but I just have an old pair of dollar store scissors here that I use to just snip that excess wire off and then give it a few good thread wraps. Okay. Now, in order to trim the tail of our pine squirrel zonker strip, you'll notice that the, the feather or the feathers, the fur points toward the back, leans toward the back. So I want to measure the length of my tail, not by the fur, not by the hair, but by the actual leather of the zonker strip itself. So I like everyone, everyone likes a different, different length, but I like a length that's roughly equal to the body of the fly. So I'm going to come back to about there and snip just the leather off. And now you can see that with the fur pointing toward the back, that tail is actually quite a bit longer than it than it was originally. And now there's really only one more step to finish in this fly, and that's the collar, which is also pine squirrel zonker. And so we, again, strip a bit of that fur off the front to create a tie-in point. Give my bobbin a counterclockwise twist so the thread will jump to the rear as I wrap. Give it a few tight wraps and then move your thread into the back of the cone head. Now we just palmer this pine squirrel just as we would a feather with slightly overlapping wraps and pulling back on each wrap on those fibers to keep them from trapping each other. And depending on the width of your zonker strip, it can be as few as three wraps, or like in this case, we're going to have about five wraps. And we want to really push that last wrap down into the back of that cone head to hold everything in place. And then give it a couple of wraps of thread to secure it. Trim off our excess. Give it a few thread wraps to tuck everything in nicely behind the cone head. Then give it a four or five turn whip finish. Trim off our tag end, and we're finished. You can certainly put a drop or two of head cement behind the cone if you like, but with the thread being behind the cone, it's really, really not necessary. So there is the John Barr Slump Buster in Crawfish.